Hello, and welcome to the Logging and Trend Graphing Panel Pilot Ace tutorial. To begin this project, we are going to have to start a new project in Design Studio. To do so, select Recent Projects and right click on the screen and select New Project. For this tutorial, we are going to name it Logging and Trend Graphing Demo. The device model for this tutorial is going to be the SGD43A, and then select OK. Here we have a blank screen. To begin the project, we first need to change the color of the background of the screen to a dark gray. To do so, go over to the Properties Editor, and where you see the color, hit the Select, and select a dark gray. Hit OK. The background is now a dark gray. Next, we are going to add a title for this screen. To do so, go to the library and select text box. For this example, it is going to say trend graph example. You can click and drag the box to make it large enough to hold the text. If you right click and go to align elements, Select Align Horizontally Center, and then go back to that and select Align Elements, and hit Align Top. Now our title is at the top of the screen in the center. Next we are going to add the visual element. For this example, we are going to use Trend Graph, which is found in the Visual Elements section of the library. Double click it, and the Trend Graph is now in the project. For this project, the width of the trend graph is going to be 400, and the height is going to be 230. Just like the title, if you right click on the trend graph and go to the line elements, select align horizontally center, and align elements align to the bottom. The trend graph is now in the middle and at the bottom of the screen. At a width of 400 pixels, this will allow 100 samples to be displayed on the graph at one time. Next, we are going to change the visual elements for the trend graph. To do so, click on the trend graph, and this will bring up its properties editor. If you go down to the chart theme section of the properties editor, You'll see there are a whole bunch of different themes the trend graph can have. Select different ones and you'll be able to see the different themes we can have. If you select no chart theme and scroll down the properties editor, you'll see you'll, you can change the different colors yourself of the trend graph. If you would like the trend graph to have no background, go to the section of the properties editor called background color. In the section with all the F's, change it to zeros. And now the trend graph has no background. Back in the chart theme box, for today's example, we are going to make the chart theme chart theme blue cerulean. For now, we are done with the trend graph visual element. Next, we are going to add a hardware element that will allow us to receive information from an outside element to create the graph. The hardware element we're going to need for this project is analog input. Double click on analog input and it will add it to the screen. We do not need to do anything else for this element. We will proceed by adding the function element data logging from the library. If you scroll up, you'll find the data logging element. Double click it and we can add it to the screen. In the properties editor, you will see there's an element properties section. This will allow us to add a log value. If you double click the box for the log name, you can select any name you would like for this log value. For this project, let's make it graph.
in the log value section, double click, and a log value box will pop up. For this project, to allow the trend graph to log data from the analog input we added in the last step, it will need to be connected using the dialoging feature. In the element group, add analog input. And make the property voltage. Select OK. Next, in the same properties editor, at the bottom of the screen is a log variable that will need to be tied to the turn graph also. To add a log variable, in the project browser to the left of the screen, there is a project variables section. Right click on the project variables and add the log variable. In the log variables property editor, you can change how many data points you would like to be collected. If you would like them to roll over, interval, and if you would like a start delay. For this project, we would like the interval to be every three seconds, so make the interval 3000 milliseconds. Now if you go back to the data logging function element, you can add this log variable to the log variable section. This step is now complete. To finish the project, we need to tie everything we just made together with the trend graph. Click on the trend graph to bring up its properties editor. In the data logging section, halfway down the properties editor, click on the arrow and select the data logging feature we just created. The project is now complete. If you go to the file at the top of the screen and click on preview and emulator, you can see how your project will look on your panel pilot ACE. With the input tab, you can change the inputs for the graph to see how it will change over time. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope to see you in the next one.